Hey everyone, so we're going to keep going with CRM. Uh, today we're going to talk about campaigns and a little bit about opportunities. The reason why I'm mentioning opportunities is because we're going to generate opportunities from a campaign. But this, this thing is not really about opportunities. The next uh, video will be opportunities, but I'll touch on it. Okay, so anyways, we have campaigns, which is the main thing. So I have uh, campaigns. And from campaigns, we have something called segments. Uh, and you can have many segments. Uh, segment one, two, three. And each segment within the campaign can have uh, contacts. So contact one, two, three, etc. So campaign contains multiple segments. Each segment contains multiple contacts. So why do we do that? Well, we're running a campaign, let's say, on 25% discount. And I like to, let's say, uh, send messages to our existing customers and also anybody who has sent us an email regarding anything in the last three months. But I like to split those between two segments. So one segment could be existing customers. And the next segment could be, uh, let's call it prospects. Um, so from that, those two segments, I can apply different rules. I can send a different email uh, to segment one and log that. than uh, the segment two, let's say over here, which is for the prospect. Prospect. There we go. Um, so, and, and the campaign, it all goes up to the campaign, which could be a 25% discount. Now, here we have basically a structure where we have one campaign, we've got multiple segments, and inside it's each segment, we have a number of contacts. From the contact, we want to generate something, right? So from here, we want to issue maybe an interaction onto a contract, contact, and you can do that with the, uh, with the campaign, so an interaction log entry, or we can actually create an opportunity. Now, uh, and, and that's what we're gonna do in the video. We're actually gonna go into one of the segments, go to the contacts and create opportunities for the contact. They're all assigned to a certain salesperson, and so the salesperson should be able to see all these opportunities uh, generated for them and they can then follow up on those opportunities and I would have loved to see tasks here create tasks but we don't have that in business center so that's a note for Microsoft uh, or anybody who wants to extend it however from the opportunities we can sort of get into the tasks and I'll show you that in the next video after this one so let's take a look at the screen share Okay, so campaigns. Uh, let's start by going into the sales, um, salespeople purchasers and go into Peter Sato. And so here uh, you can get into everything that has to do with the salesperson um, and particularly for CRM, uh, the CRM related things uh, are the easiest to access from here. And uh, for example, campaigns uh, and opportunities. And I'm, I'm going to talk about campaigns and opportunities right now. So if I go into opportunities, opportunities are basically um, uh, leads or, or opportunities per se. It's sales qualified leads um, that we are going to push through a sales cycle. So each opportunity here has you know, either not started or status, no, not started, one, lost, etc. We can also see which sales cycle it is in. Uh, oddly enough, these demo ones don't have a current sales cycle, but we're going to get into that. And then you can see how much the, uh, the value of it is, chance of success, etc. But it's basically uh, a sales, uh, a opportunity that's going through a sales cycle. So without going too deep into that, I'm going to show you how we can create opportunities in masses through a campaign. So if I go into a process, I'm sorry, 
close this out and go into campaigns. And the reason why I like to explain this through the opportunities is because when you create a campaign, it has to have some kind of a result. Uh, so we're going to create this campaign where we're going to give 25% discount on a few items. So I create a new campaign. 25% uh, of uh, just say everything. And the status is in planning. And we're starting today. And it's going to run through the end of the month. And the salesperson in charge of this is Peter Sato. And that's it. So we created this campaign. And campaign, you can manage the whole campaign cycle. Like we're planning it and it's been approved. It's initiated, scheduled, start and done. I'm not going to go through these stages right now. Obviously, that's kind of as you're pushing through. It would be nice to be able to book costs towards this. And you sort of can uh, if you work with dimensions, because uh, campaigns are related to dimensions. Again, that's kind of a side topic. But uh, the main thing here for what I wanted to do is, is get some contact into this campaign and then have those contact initiate opportunities. So I'm going to go and create a segment. So each campaign can have many segments. Uh, in this one, I'm just going to have one. And the segment is a container of contacts. So we can dump contacts into a segment. And here I'm just going to say all customers. Uh, it's going to be just one segment. Again, the salesperson is going to be Peter Saro. And I can come in here and say add contacts. And so this is really cool. Here we can actually put a filter in for contacts and uh, and bring them in. And notice that I, I don't just have like the standard information like the name, you know, where they are, um, you know, uh, profile answers, you know, whether they're married, not married, uh, male, female, etc. But I also have value entry filters, which means I could do it for if they bought a, uh, a special item, like if, if they have bought this mug before, then I can send uh, a, ma a mailer to them saying, hey, this mug is now 25% off. But anyways, what I wanted to do is just pick customers. So yeah, all contacts doesn't necessarily mean customers or um, or customers at all. Uh, it could be vendor, it could be prospect, uh, could be anything. So I'm going to pick existing customers. So this is for our current customers. It's like an upsell. Um, and just hit OK. And then it brings in all customers. And that's, we don't have a whole lot of customers in our demo company. But anyways, and there was some errors here, like uh, my name is coming in here and I shouldn't be on here. And we have a test customer, which is not really good. So I'm going to delete those out. I can go in here and say delete uh, and delete. And one of the interesting thing here is that uh, there is a criteria. I'll do this slowly. There is a criteria action that I, uh, comes up here. So if I click on that, it shows me exactly what happened. I brought in all of the contacts with the business relation customer, and then I remove these two contacts. I can actually save this criteria. So if I have a standard criteria that I run, it can be saved. So for next segments, uh, I can just bring up the, uh, the saved criteria and get all those uh, contacts that are now qualifying that criteria into the segment. So if I copy the segment, that wouldn't be good because you are adding contacts. Uh, so so you want to copy the criteria, not the, the segment. All right, so from here, I can go ahead and do a lot of functions. I mean, we can make a phone call. Uh, we can attach uh, something to it. Uh, I can actually get an interaction template here. And I'm going to go ahead and just put uh, email on this. So this is going to be emailing out. And then applies that to everyone. Um, now there is a whole feature on you can import an attachment and you can open up in the email and stuff like that. 
it gets a little clunky uh, and it depends on what system you're using. Um, if you're mass mailing out of the system, chances are you're not going to mass mail out of Business Central. You have to use some kind of a mass mailer so you don't get blacklisted and uh, all kinds of things like that. So, for example, you can go ahead and export. Uh, let me see. I think that's somewhere over here. You can get um, export it into Excel right here, etc. So you can just get it into Excel and and then take it into a mass mailer and then log the segment saying that you've mailed everybody out. But what I really want to do is create opportunities for Peter Sato. So I'm going to do that. I can go here into Actions, Functions. Um, let me see. Where is this? Um, here. Navigate, okay. I don't know why it would be navigate. But navigate segment, create opportunity or create opportunities. And I'm going to go ahead and create opportunities. And I'll just go ahead and do that. Um, and now the opportunities should be for Peter Sato. And we can explore the opportunities um, in the next one. But this is how you would do uh, a segment. And then once you're done with going through everything in the segment, you can then log that and it will log the interaction um, entry for those contacts that are in the segment. Also notice like one point here, we have both the company and the person. So we're emailing to here. I could have just picked the person if I wanted to. Um, but anyways, I hope that gives you sort of an idea what segments and campaigns are used for.